I created a poll recently on Instagram and was asking what you found yourself needing questions, like, like answers for, or what questions that you have. And one of the things that was the most requested is how to really build an online brand, but not just any kind of online brand, but a brand that actually sticks out, that people see, that they want to connect with, that they follow, that causes a social media account to grow, but more importantly, causes you to be able to monetize. And so today we are going to have a conversation about how to build a brand that stands out. So welcome back to another episode of the King and Kelly podcast, where we talk about all things business, marketing your business, and then having a balanced life. Today, we are having a conversation about building a brand that sticks out and not just any kind of brand. Today, we're talking about personal brands and a personal brand is basically one that is a person. It's not Walmart. Walmart is a corporate brand. It's not uh, Chick-fil-A, it is Kenya Kelly, it is Teresa Johnson, it is Tiffany Johnson, whatever your name is. And so when we think about building that personal brand, it's really important to like ask ourselves these, you know, typical questions that we're going to talk about today. Um, and it's important to be intentional. So let's get started by, let me first ask you, why is it that you want to build a personal brand? Because until we kind of unpack that particular reason, then it may be hard to start to build an online brand because once you know your own why of what it is you're doing, why you're doing what it is that you're doing, then that is when you're able to uh, like, stand up for something. You're able to stand out for something. You're able to stand on whatever those principles are but you have to first do the work of yourself internally before you can then start building an external brand. Okay. So for me, one of the reasons why I decided to build a personal brand was first things first, like that's all that I knew. All I knew was me. You know, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. <clears throat> I wanted to set my own hours, make my own money and have time freedom. Um, but I didn't really have like skills or ideas for like, you know, a product idea or something I could patent. I didn't really have any inspiration of that. Um, but I did have me and, you know, I saw other people were doing it. I saw that there were like bloggers back in the day, natural hair bloggers that had built a brand for themselves. I had saw beauty bloggers. I had saw, uh, people like Oprah Winfrey that had done it. And, you know, there was a part of me that says, well, I don't really know if I can do it or if anybody would want to get behind me, but I'm at least, you know, courageous enough to like bold enough to at least try. And so that was the first reason was one, I wanted to have time freedom. Um, the second reason I wanted to build a personal brand is because I wanted to have control over what it looked like, what it sounded like. Uh, because while I love all the people, um, I wanted to be able to talk about the things that I'm passionate about, which in includes business, my relationship with Jesus, you know, um, uh, therapy that, um, just real person, you know, I wanted people to see that I'm human, that everything isn't perfect, that I'm just a real, real person. I wanted to be able to have control in that regard. And I felt like building a personal brand was going to give me that. Um, but the last thing, the, the reason why I wanted to build a personal brand was because I wanted to really be able to touch people. I wanted to be able that people could see my message, hear my message and all those things, but that I also could touch them and not just like physically, yes, touch them. But like I could, even if I never met a person that I could show up in a way that allowed people to feel seen that allowed people to feel like I'm not the only one, not me, but you not the only one. Um, and that if I can do it, then you can do it too. Um, and that was my, my biggest reasons for deciding to build an online brand. Now, once I started the process of it, it, of course it got bigger. You know, I realized that if I was a personal brand, that there was so much that I could do. I could travel the world. I could do speaking. I could do, I could personally write books and I could, I could, I could, you know, all those different things, you know? Um, <clears throat> but once I started the process of like, well, what does that brand look like? I had to then like really 
get clear on, on all that. Okay. So one of the first things that I had to do was I had to decide who, what's my name going to be, you know, like you may not know this, but my last name is not Kelly. My last name is Griffin. My name is Kenya Kelly Griffin. Okay. And most people today know me as Kenya Kelly because I decided a long time ago that I wanted to build the Kenya Kelly brand. And one of those reasons was because I knew one day I wanted to get married and I knew that I would drop my last name and take on my husband's last name or what have you. But if I branded myself with my middle name, I never had to change my, my brand name. So, cause I was married previously and I was still known as King of Kelly. I wasn't known as King of Kelly Monroe, except legally. Um, and so now that I'm back to my original name, people still don't call me King of Kelly Griffin. They call me King of Kelly. And so I chose a name. So for you, it is important for you to say to yourself, okay, what name do I want to go by? You can choose your first and last name. You can choose just your first name. You can use a first and middle name. You can use your entire name. You can even change your name and give yourself a stage name like Jamie Foxx, like John Legend. Those are not their real names. You can choose to create your own name. Okay. Now, and again, this is talking about personal brands, not corporate brands. So if you want to be able to, um, let, let's just say like you're, you're a female and your desire is to get married and you want to change your last name. Well, then I would encourage you not to brand your name as your first and last name, because if you are single today and you plan on getting married, your name is going to change. Okay. So just don't go with your last name. If you're, if that's your plan is to change your last name once you get married, if that's your desire. Okay. Um, but just stand, like, choose a name that you don't mind being called all the time, whether it's your first name, it's a hyphenated name, whatever that is that that name, you don't, you don't, you don't mind being called that all the time. But also you got to make sure that that name is available. Okay. So like on social media, Kenya Kelly, I have everything. I have kenyakelly.com. I would encourage you to ch go and check and see if your name is available uh, on the dot coms and all the things so that you don't have any trouble. I know somebody who had to pay somebody $16,000 uh, to get their dot com when that name probably cost her $12 to buy on GoDaddy. Um, and she ended up having to pay the other person had to pay $16,000 to get that name because they wanted that name for themselves, but you know, that's not here nor there. Okay. So go ahead and check on that. All right. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of how to build a personal brand that stands out. So you're not just going to stand out because you have a great name. Okay. Or because you have your own big reason why it is that you are building a brand. You have to ask yourself a, a series of questions. Okay. First of all, what is it about you that stands out amongst other people? Okay. So if you are in a room with a bunch of people that do exactly what it is that you want to do, what is the one thing that is going to cause you to stand out? For me, what I feel like my thing is my energy. So I don't care where I go. People say, you've got amazing energy. I bet you are an extrovert. You've got great energy. And honestly, sometimes I'm like, can they say something else? You know, is there like, am I pretty? I've got great teeth, whatever, you know, but it is always, I've got great energy. And so I have to have this intention to show up like that, which is just me authentically. Okay. So if I'm in a room of people that teach people how to make money online or how to use a social media to da, 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 they're definitely going to say she stands out because she's got great energy. Okay. So it is in my best interest that how I show up online is displaying that energy that they have experienced. Okay. And that more people would want to experience. I know some people who, who show up online are great because they are always using curse words. Okay. So they show up in a way that is real, raw, authentic, and relatable to people that don't mind curse words, right? Doesn't make it right or wrong. It means that that is how that person is different. Okay. And that is how that person is authentically and how they are choosing to show up. 
because you have to understand that there are so many people out there that are probably going to want to do what it is that you're going to want to do. And we'll talk about that in just a second. And something about you has got to stand out amongst all the people. Because when you start creating content anywhere, you're going to find there's going to be hundreds, maybe even thousands of people doing exactly what it is that you are doing and you have to stand out in a sea of people. Instagram Reels and TikTok are the fastest ways to reach your audience in 2024. We all know that creating content that is short and to the point allows our customers to see who we are and then learn a little bit and then they can binge watch our content. But most people don't really know how to create short bite-sized pieces of content that grab our audience's attention. And so I want to show you that. So I'm Kia Kelly. I am a video marketing strategist where I teach you how to use short video marketing to grab your audience's attention, get them off of the platform to your email list, and ultimately find your products and services. You see, I got started three years ago with TikTok marketing when nobody was talking about it. And fast forward, we've made millions of dollars. And more importantly, we have helped our clients make millions of dollars using short form video. TikTok, Instagram Reels, and all the things. And so we are hosting a three-day TikTok and Reels challenge where I'm not just going to be telling you what to post on those platforms. I'm going to teach you strategies for creating content, getting eyeballs to your content, and more importantly, how to sell your products and services so that you can hit your goals in 2024 and never in a year not reaching your revenue goals. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click the link below and join Join us in the challenge. We have helped thousands of people every single time with their challenges, including Mercedes, who made $20,000 in seven days as a result of one of our challenges. And so if you're ready, click the link below and go ahead and enroll in the challenge. And I cannot wait to teach you how to do this so you can make money your ultimate goals in 2024. Doesn't mean you have to have the greatest degree. Doesn't mean you have to have an endorsement by whomever. It just means that you are choosing to stand out as yourself and you're showing up authentically as you. Because here's the deal. There is a group of people that is waiting for you to show up. They don't know that you exist, but the moment that you show up, they say, that is my girl. That is my, you know what I mean? Because they've been waiting for someone that they can connect to. Okay. Like we all think about some of the shows that we watch on Netflix. Let's just say like love is blind and people get into like the pods and they're blind dating. Like all they can do is hear the person. And there's, there's always a time in the show where someone says, Oh, you are my person. You are my person. And it is because they have been waiting for that person to show up. They didn't know that person existed, the who they are, the way that they are. But the moment that that person showed up authentically themselves, that person on the other side said, that's it. That is my person. And that is the exact same thing that is waiting. The people that are waiting for you. Okay. That are waiting for you. So you've got to determine how it is that you want to show up. The second thing you need to do is you have to determine what is going to be your niche. Okay. What is going to be your niche? And when I say that you've got to determine who are you, what are you focused on? What is it that you are putting out to the world that gives people a reason to want to do business with you. Okay. So for me, my niche is teaching female coaches and course creators how to use TikTok and Instagram to grow their businesses online. That is my niche. Does that mean that that's all that I am? No, there is so much more to me than just that. That is just what I am choosing as a niche and the people that I am choosing, right? So I teach video marketing strategies, right? So then I teach it to this group of people, okay? So it is important for you to identify what is it that you want to do as a business, okay? As a niche, and then you're gonna show up authentically marketing that. Now, it is also important to know that just because you choose a niche doesn't mean you have to stay there forever. Or that doesn't mean that that is all that you are. 
That just means that is what you are focusing on today, okay? This year, this this decade, or what have you, okay? And so, listen, if you choose a niche today and in a year you say, I don't want to do that anymore, that is okay, okay? But if you're going to have success, building an online brand, you have to choose one thing to be known for. Okay. Because if you are known for a million things, you won't really get all the referrals in for the one thing. People are looking for one person that they can rely on. Okay. So when people say my name today, what is synonymous with my name is TikTok. Okay. And so four years ago, I was having to make the decision of what I was going to focus on because I didn't want to do personal branding and brand design anymore. I wanted to do something else. And I was trying to decide what I was going to do. And I remember I was having a conversation with a friend and she said, you've got to be willing to marry something. You have to marry something so that you can be known for it and you can divorce it later on if you want to, but you have to marry something. And honestly, I was petrified because I was like, I, this is how I make money today. Like this doesn't make sense. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that or whatever. But I knew that I had to make a decision because people are looking for their expert. Okay. Like I'm 43 years old, perimenopause, menopause, all the things, you know, the trajectory. And when I started having symptoms, I was like, I need somebody to be my go-to. I need to go and learn from somebody. And so I found a couple of people online that became my go-to people. And the only reason why they became my go-to people was because they chose a niche. They chose to focus on perimenopause and menopause, which means that they like know way more about it than I do. When I started having problems with my skin, I was looking for somebody that teaches about skincare. I went online and was watching all types of people until I came upon this one doctor and she teaches, you know, peep women about their skin after 40 years old that have melanated skin. And it was so specific. And I said, I have melanated skin. I was initially going to start to watch people that were talking about skin in general, but the fact that she understands my brown skin, I said, this is my go-to person. And like every product she recommended for me to purchase is exactly what I purchased. And my skin is thanks her for that, you know? And so for me, I want when people see me or hear my name, I want me to be synonymous with video marketing, whether it's TikTok or Instagram reels, but video marketing, right? So you got to choose what is that thing you want to be known for? Because it's so much easier to build a business from referrals, especially if everybody knows you are the go-to for that. If everybody knows that you are their go-to for that, you will market and you'll make money through marketing, but you'll also make money through referrals because you are their go-to person. Okay. Now I know that it is scary for lots of different reasons. One to choose a niche, but then two to put yourself out there. Okay. But here's one of the, the most rewarding things I have experienced since building an online brand is I've gotten the opportunity to just be myself. You know, like I don't have to be anything else, you know, like right now I don't have to dress corporately. I don't have to talk in a certain way. You know, I can be here with this band on my head and in my, my office, like my, my cat's over here. You might not be able to see her in the, in the frame, but she's right there in the frame. You know, I've got what I am doing here. Um, and and I just get to do it. You know, when I am speaking on stage, I get to speak in my own stage way. I get to dress how I want to dress. I get to show up how I want to show up as the King and Kelly brand. And then I get to coach and meet and, uh, um, and mentor and lead my team. I get to do what it is that I am doing as the, as the owner of this company. And I can make changes as I want to, because it is my company. If I want to pray with people, I can pray with people. If I want to prophesy to people, I can do that. Listen, today I was getting dressed for work, the work day. And all of a sudden I started hearing God talking to me about somebody that was at the conference I was just at. And I was just like, what? And he told me something that I wouldn't have known 
and that that person did not know, but needed to know. And so I sent them a voice message and said, Hey, I'm getting dressed this morning. And I just feel like God is talking to me about you. And this is what I feel like he's saying. And I was like, I'm not sure how you are feeling, but this is for you. And the message came back and he was just like, yeah, I was feeling like a B and C because of X, Y, and Z. And I said, well, I just think what I'm hearing is this, this, and this. And that thing made so much sense to him. And it gave him so much like peace and like resolve because he just needed what he needed, you know? But if I hadn't built this online brand the way that I am and I willing to hear God and like speak to people on God's behalf, then I would have been afraid to go and tell him. But I'm not afraid because... This is the Kia Kelly brand, you know, and it brings me such joy to um, just be able to be myself and I get to, you know, make money doing it at the same time. Okay. So I want you to, to take this journey. I want you to take this journey of building your personal online brand, but I definitely, I want you to take this journey with us. So if you enjoyed the episode and you're watching here on YouTube, ask me any questions in the comments. I'm here for you. Like I get all the notifications directly to my phone. I'm here for you to answer any questions for you. If you are listening to this on the podcast, come to Instagram, screenshot this episode, and then send me a DM. Like you can tag me in a story and send me a DM and say, Hey, I just listened to the episode and I have a question about this, this, and this. I would love to connect with you. Okay. So thank you so much for listening and watching.